get it. There is an actual fucking show that involves Beyond already, but we can't say it. Oh no, because one of the members was like, hey, we like your show. And to be honest, we're, we're on medication. No, wait, no, what? No, you might be on medication. Or maybe aspirin. Well, oh, uh, I'm on Flintstones, you know. You, you eat those gummies? No, what? Gummies? <laughs> you don't eat the gummies? I don't eat the gummies. You don't step up your game with the gummies? No. What's... You eat the pills? I eat the pills, bro. What? That's the... the way it goes. That's what? the way you go. What in the salad struggles are you talking about? Oh, no. I need get... my vitamin C. Step up your step I need, up your I shit. Need vitamin C. Then you get the gummies. I need... get the I'm gummies. the gutter cat. And I'm a, the lo fi beatnik. And today's show, we're going to be focusing on the Xbox. Those guys, they're trying to be the PC Master Race. We're going to call them the Xbox Master Race. Why is that, sir? <laughs> Guess what? Because they're trying. They're trying to acquire two companies. <laughs> One side, you have EA. <laughs> EA. I, I thought someone was gonna boo or something. Well, yeah, right. Boo. Some guy just busted through the door. Boo, motherfucker! Boo Ha-ha! this man. He and said he just, EA. And he flew away. He said EA. Who did? No, you know EA. You know corporate gaming. EA, which stands for EA. Yeah. <laughs> e- executive action. All right. So no. <laughs> back to serious. Um, JJ Allen is trying to acquire. You know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, for all you non punks out there, he has a micro penis! Microsoft. Get it? Uh, not micro hard. So, Microsoft is trying to acquire EA, you know, for all their luscious games. Let's face it, they do have some good games they here do. and there, sprinkled they there. Do. And then for the other one, Battlefield. If you can only see this, I'm doing the triple praise of Gabe because they're trying to acquire Valve. Yeah, that's. Valve. That's. that's Valve beautiful. Corporation. And not the va- the valves you 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 released Steam no, comes out. No, no, no. By the way, Thanks. Steam. <laughs> it's all right. They're trying to buy. They're pretty much trying to buy off Steam. You know, pretty much to to own PC gaming. See, uh, and once again, making them Xbox fucking no, what was it? Xbox Master Race. Xbox Fusion. Xbox Bullet Man. Yeah, you, saw that you know what I mean, right? Oh yeah, that's a, that's a great dun, movie. Dun, 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 the Bullet dun, Man. Dun, dun, dun. Metal everywhere. This ain't comfortable. Ah! <laughs> uh, it's like Dark Planet all over again. Dark Planet? What's Dark Planet? That's that one movie with those... Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. What? <laughs> you know. Anyway. i never seen okay. Dark Planet. Yeah, you've never seen Dark Planet. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. We don't talk about Dark Planet. I'm going to watch Dark Planet for this yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, like, you watch Dark Planet. Then. All right, cool. So anyway, Microsoft, a.k.a. G.G. Allen, a.k.a. Uh, someone who can't count to two <laughs> wants to get another company that can't count to three and you know something that only knows how to count well okay so <laughs> there, are, there are many issues and many good things that could come out of this you know mm-hmm. okay one big big issue okay is a they're probably not gonna buy steam they probably can't you, they probably can't buy valve because um they have they have a freaking a chokehold on the gaming market on pc there's other companies mm-hmm. you know games with with a game gog with games of uh, i forget what Games with gold? No, no, no. no, no. What's it that, I, think, I forget what it's. I don't know. Oh, um, all access. And then you got yeah, there. and then you got Xbox, or Microsoft's one itself. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know that the big thing, EA. Um, oh, fuck. Dude. I mean, like making EA, making um, things something. exclusive, like PC <laughs> gaming to Xbox. I mean, uh, you can't do that. I mean, there's so much things to that. There's so many things wrong with that to me anyway. But I mean, like there's good things and bad things, you know. On the EA side, I mean, but go ahead, buy buy them right up. Maybe maybe the they, uh, fucking corporation freaking that EA is will will be good in Microsoft's hands. Mm-hmm. You know because I'm at. Well, they're doing. See, I think they just poisoned themselves. You know, EA it just they just had a bad rep. They just this destroyed time. all the goodwill, dude. It's yeah. like you know, like you know, you got Madden games. Oh, that's fine. You know, they make good Madden. They make good sports games. They do. They do, and you know, but they they took it too far with the you know. Hey, like uh, closing down companies like Vivendi and all that stuff. Like you know, the guys who are making the good freaking. Uh, the the good freaking Star Wars games and all that visceral. Oh, yeah. Did visceral. they try? Did they make Dead Space as well? Yeah, they did. Oh my god, that was an so, awesome I mean, like, game. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Like Three shutting down companies like that. Star. And um, <laughs> you know, you know, doing company tactics. You yeah. know, corporation tactics. You know, it's like hey, this uh, this little piece of company is not making us money. Get rid of them, annex them, whatever. Get out. You know, and shutting down companies just because there's first. Um, their first player games. Right. And let's face it, the thing that makes money continuously quota, with their quotas and their um, every goddamn year is multiplayer. Yeah. Because you could sell DLC like hotcakes. Oh, yeah, like you nothing. could sell DLC like hotcakes. Everybody's going to buy the hotcakes. new Battlefield game yep. because it's Battlefield, because it's a 
it's a good game. Don't, don't get me wrong. You know, like, and EA is a good company, but you know their their tactics are shady. That's the problem. But you know, going with a corporation like Microsoft, maybe they'll, they'll change their way. Maybe they'll end up just making Kinect games. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, Rare. Well, you guys came back with Killer Instinct, I guess. I know, right? Magic just kicks down the door and says, "Oi, we made all so games uh, like Kinectimals." <laughs> it's just like our like other. Connecting. It's like our other video where we talked about what eat what Microsoft might have in store. Maybe they'll create a new freaking. Just... Well, see, here's the thing, though. That's where Valve would come in. See. Valve actually giving all its company to Microsoft will be a mistake because they um, every goddamn season, you know, whatever quarter court it is, you know, whatever one they sell bank because they have sales left and right from their online service alone. I mean, they make so much damn money and with their other games, they make money, too. So why would you lose all that digital um, uh, that digital service, you know, Steam? Uh, even if I mean if Microsoft gives you a big number regardless in three years You'll make that number again, and then you'll keep going and going and going and going and they're not stopping now to partner with Microsoft I think it's a smart idea. Well, yeah, see that that's yeah. where you know difference between partnering and uh, and um, See and, and freaking selling I mean like exactly. okay, you know what like the Minecraft guys so dirty Minecraft is you know, they sold it for a lot They Mojang, got a lot of money, but yeah Mojang whatever Mojang, Mojang. But whatever <laughs> but freaking but that's Minecraft. That's not okay. Yeah. That's that's not Steve. That's not Valve. That's not a exactly. whole freaking ecosystem of video gaming for PC. What they could do is partner with them to make a, a Left 4 Dead type of deal. Yeah, I mean, exactly. not Left 4 Dead, yeah. but like only release their game for that system. Exactly. Second party. I mean, like, like what they do with a lot of other companies. You know, like I said, EA's already in bed with them with their whole EA. Uh, Oh, EA Access. Oh, okay, there we go. That, yeah. was, that was killing me the whole goddamn time. Man. You know, it's that, it's, that thing, it's that thing, yeah, where Xbox, for those who don't know, EA Access is when EA pretty much teams with Xbox and they, they let you play games from EA 30 days early. Mm -hmm. Xbox is the only one that has this, not Nintendo and not Sony. Now, days. how the hell there does are, Nintendo not have this? Well, because, you know, the uh, strained relationship between EA, Capcom, and Nintendo is strong. Wait, Catcom isn't even part of this. Well, well, because, you know, they don't really do that much. I mean... Actually, Catcom probably loves Nintendo. They probably do, because Nintendo show, uh, shares its booth with them. But not enough to get the Monster Hunter world. Take... that. Teach you to have a lower-end graphic machine. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I know, but... I mean, can you blame them, though? I mean... Did you see Monster Hunter World? Right, right. I think even okay. Prince was like, Oh God, oh God, oh God. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, we guys, we gotta stop knocking Nintendo. We do this every fucking time. Well, fucking the guy from Spectre, uh, you know, audio knocks bassists. That's true. But, you know. We love your, uh, your shit on the we're, we're, ta we're talking about <laughs> EA Access, though. We're talking about you know, freaking Xbox. So if Xbox were to purchase EA, it wouldn't make much of a difference. I mean, it would, but it wouldn't. I mean, See, the, the good oh, thing is, well, come it out, would be huge. It would be huge. It would be huge. It would but be. It would be, yeah, it would be yeah. that foreign. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, you're already used to seeing Xbox. Um, EA you games you see the early thing on. there already. I mean, it's it's kind of there. It's there. It, it would it would actually hurt. Um, I think it would hurt uh, Sony a lot. Yeah. But you gotta remember, you're... they do have the only baseball game, and they have a lot of exclusives themselves. So right. you you take one, you take the other. If you think about it. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Uh, EA's game though, but I mean like, you know, okay, in the perfect world, yeah. you could get, you can get EA, you can get Valve, they won't, uh, Xbox wouldn't mess up the online thing mm -hmm. they have there, and they can make the perfect first person shooter, because you gotta remember, with yeah. the team of DICE, you know, doing Battlefield and all that stuff, with the Rare doing all, like, you know, with their whole Perfect Dark and stuff back then, uh -huh. combining that with Valve's fucking storytelling. You know, I'll say this, I don't care for, um, the DICE. way, not, not, actually DICE is alright. You don't but I right. always love Valve's shooting because the, the first Half-Life one, that combat was pretty goddamn good. I love now, that game. It, right? Great combat. Part two, I loved it because of its atmosphere, but the combat was not as good as part one. I'll, I'll admit that right now. They I mean, try to do the whole uh, real physics thing, you know, yeah, gravity gun. Of course. But, you know, the pistol felt like it was... The, the grenade... <laughs> Explosion. <laughs> <laughs> it was in Russian, though. No, but Valve um, makes solid shooters. I mean, look at Counter Strike. Look at Portal. They know how to make the. Um, they know how to do it. Mm -hmm. um, for me, though, EA. I don't like how they do their shooters recently. I mean, 
because Battlefield seems kind of wonky. Um, not Battlefield. Um, Battle, Battle Battlefront. Front. It, Battlefront's kind of wonky to me. Battlefield, I kind of like. I, kinda, I do like it, but I still love arena shooters more. That's why I love Call of Duty more. Oh. I know, but I only buy once every decade. Eat a dick. But That's why I play Overwatch. Sam, I am. I swear to fucking God. I will not play that that shit on a plane. I will not play it on a train. I will not play it on a car, and I won't play it on a boat because it's not for the Switch. And it never will be. It will never be for the Switch. No five. Oh. Damn it! We did it again, didn't we? Oh uh, yeah, we did. Okay. We gotta start that. I got play anyway, the game anyway though, if I can, like I said, back to what I'm saying. So, <laughs> you know, so uh, Xbox owning Xbox owning Valve, like okay, let's go to that conversation. Yeah, more. let's go back. Okay, uh, uh, owning Valve would would give them the uh, the advantage of PC gaming more. They would just have PC. They would have PC games. That's it, in their pocket. And they're a computer company. It's almost too... It, it would It'd fit be too, too easy, like, but too easy. Th the thing is this, how would they change it? I mean, Valve, I mean, it's Steam... If they're is... smart, they wouldn't even change it at all. Oh, they yeah, exactly. That's yeah. what I wish. But come on, imagine Steam just pretty much becoming Microsoft games. Like, I mean, sometimes they half-ass that alone. No, but the thing is, people literally have memes of Game Newman as Jesus Christ in, 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 in symbols and percentages Lord here Gaiman. and there. Lord Gaiman, my Lord and Savior. But think about this, though. You have that, would you change it? And if you would, what would you do? And if I would say you would change something, I'm just, you know, cutting yeah. off a lot of things. But if I'd say if Microsoft, what they should do, leave Steam alone, but put that same uh, wireless technology, not wireless technology, online technology to Steam. Imagine Xbox, Steam, um, speeds, and reliability. See, that would be great. Oh, that, that's that would good, be that's great. a good end, you know, because you gotta remember this. Yeah. Console gaming is actually, like, is, uh, how do I say it? Polished, I guess, because okay? there's games that don't run on PCs, even with how much strong your freaking system is. Nope, nope. It's called Batman Arkham Knight. I was about to say, uh, Fear. Yeah. Because of multi core rendering. It, it, and it, it, they go it, for single. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, maybe Microsoft Arkham could do Knight. good on that, you know? Yeah. Yeah, you've heard of Arkham Knight, right? Yeah, I know how I got You've it. heard the issues with that shit? Yeah, I know. Batman turned to Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman turned into Guy Ritchie. Yeah, it was all bad. Yeah, it was all bad. <laughs> all bad. <laughs> Wonder Woman turned to Guy Ritchie. Yeah. Wonder Woman, as told by Guy Ritchie. I know. Oi, I'm Wonder Woman. Now we gotta do some crimes. They call me the tickler. <laughs> and that's everyone. Every, dude, everyone has their own do fucking it. thing. Do it. <laughs> Who? Guy yeah, Ritchie? No, WB needs to do this. Let Guy Ritchie do everything. <laughs> We gotta it's have all like shit, the DCEU is dead anyway. <laughs> Imagine Guy Ritchie presents the Care Bears. All right, we're a bunch of bears. We're gonna go down the submarine, nick the stuff, take the shotguns, lolly the pop, and then Bob's your uncle. What? Uh, You're the uh, only American. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, okay, dude, Guy Ritchie does Little Pony. Oh um, all right, um, all right. <laughs> My Little Pony. Yes. All right. Give me a <laughs> All right, we're a bunch of ponies, and we're gonna rob this train. <laughs> Why? Because we're ponies. You. But what the fuck are their names? <laughs> like Rainbow Dash. Rainbow Dash. Go on there. That's the like the only one I know. I think uh, like Pootie Pie or something. No, no, no. That's, Pootie that, that's a person. <laughs> Pootie Pie. You, you're not here. <laughs> right. Rainbow Dash. I want you to dash to Detroit. Nick the lot. Take the stuff. Go down to the river. Bob's your uncle, and then we have ourselves an apple picnic. Oi. Friendship truly is magic. Friendship is truly <laughs> magic, mate. <laughs> Snatch two. <laughs> Snatch this pony. Oh yeah, and fucking uh, what you call it? Jason Statham comes on over. No saying. <laughs> <laughs> I got all these ponies here. You know uh, what I'm saying? Don't be a cute one, you are. <laughs> uh, Guy Ritchie. I smell a new poster. Oh, I know, right? Oh, oh my God! I'm doing it. So far, I'm so drawing that shit. Ah, oh my god, uh, do a bunch of pony shit and I'm guys I'm gonna be drawing like, pictures, like, oh I'm gonna be making god. posters, if anybody who's following guy wants, who wants to see this stuff, we'll all make badass posters just for all you guys. And once we establish a Patreon, we could, well, he'll Give that stuff away. Stuff, exactly. stuff, and I'll put my personal ass print in the back with ink, you have my own personal ass print, don't worry, it's luscious. You can use it to clone him. You can clone me, and you can have a traveling you can, band. You can have, yes. A sexy traveling bass band, because that's all he does is play bass. That, that's all I do. That's all he does. That's all I do. Yeah, boom, 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 boom. Ba -da, ba -ba -ba. Anyway, enough about promoting <laughs> ourselves. Mm. Freaking back to the back to the task at hand. There's some more things that we need to talk about. Mm -hmm. All right, this this is a little off topic, but mm -hmm. okay. So there's reports coming out of Australia and the UK. Pretty much these these uh, game retailer stores are kind of getting a little miffed at Xbox. All right, and this will tie you in all together when you think about this. All right. 
Now, Xbox, like as our other episode we talked about, they announced their Game Pass uh, that will be $10 a month, you get games, whatever. Oh, yeah. That a lot of their new games, are, even their new games will come out on it once they first release. You know, Crackdown comes out, boom, $10, you get to play it. Hmm. You know, now, company like game stores right there in the UK and, and Australia are getting a little miffed about that because pretty much they're, they're, they're banning the sales of all Xbox items now because they're like, hey... If you guys want to sell your games, you guys sell them then. Fuck you guys. <laughs> because let's face it, you, you pay $10 to play a freaking Xbox game or you pay $60. Your mm. choice. Well, you know, that's fantastic. You can sell PS4 games all you want, Switch games all you want. And mm. you'll probably make a lot of money because those two are the highest selling games. Yeah, right? that's it. But let me tell you one thing, though. You're not going to get your Xbox games there. No, you can't get your Which Xbox means games. actually burn your fucking people. Now, the, the, now let's say you're well, a shareholder. You know, Japan ain't caring. I know, but it's Japan. They don't care. They don't care. They're like, oh, ooh, ooh. On our, on our Australian vacation, we can't buy an Xbox game. Exactly. But let me tell you this, though. <laughs> you're a shareholder. All right, you're a shareholder, and your store doesn't hold a certain item. Why? Because you did this. Fantastic. But then you find out it's because the CEOs got steamed. Ha! Yeah, you're like, wow, you dicks. And then where does that profit go to? The guys who's too, who has everything. I rather support. A, I mean, I rather invest in a company that has everything than something with personal. Uh, oh yeah, problems. I mean, but you still you still yeah. isolate I can, no, see, I can, by doing that. By you know, even though you're not like it's true. Xbox isn't doing it, but. You know, like people who don't have access to just pure digital thing. You know, remember, physical media still outsells still digital there. media. So they're literally see. You can see why. I understand why. You know, but as a bit, if I was a business owner, I would see what the fuck are you doing because it's video games. Most gamers, and let's not deny this, buy the physical copy to have the physical copy. It's not like a DVD. What it is is a a collector's item that you could play. And who doesn't love that shit? Right. I mean, look at fucking Skylanders. Remember how fucking far um, Skylanders went because you just drop in a goddamn toy and boom. Oh, yeah, boom. Yeah. Exactly, right? Spiral they even outsold Nintendo's own ones, surprisingly. Wow, until really? they stopped it. Oh, yeah, Skylanders is way bigger it than sold Nintendo's. Fu- it sold... Okay, you see that? Oh, yeah, Physical like, media will always be there. It's ami- I mean, like, now, I mean, I think Amiibo's the only thing left. I think it's not... No, I don't think... Do they still make Skylanders? Oh, the Disney one doesn't, they don't sell no more. See, that, again, this move is really bad because you could say we don't accept any Xbox and, well, fantastic. You can, here's this how you do it in a real business world, by the way. Catch up gaming world. You put limited supply so you could still have it. If you have limited supply, then you get a bigger demand. If you get a bigger demand, you actually make more money because you make people hungry for your store. Now, if you do this all together, you look like douchebags. I know there's a lot of douchebag gamers out there, but let's face it, you're a company. You're a multi-billion dollar company. Act like it. And have limited fucking, I don't need to, I don't have a business degree, by the way. Have limited the supply. Uh, it's gonna, it's gonna be there. No, it's not, is it physical? Are you getting a physical thing? No. No. It's like Google Play. I love Google Play. Stop. Cut off my internet, I'm fucked. Stop, stop playing, and stop acting like an esports player and fucking get your shit together. Stop it. See what happens with, the, you know, these guys probably will stop making money, they probably won't. Let's face it, though, Xbox isn't really selling the hotcakes yet. It's not. I mean, they shot themselves in the foot and they're not the strongest machine. That little percentage is not that much stronger, but it's enough to Sony to go, hey, look at us! Of course, what's smart about Sony right now, I'll give them this. Microsoft made the bigger fucking thing. And Sony not say, oh yeah? They didn't say, oh yeah. They knew they this sh- Yeah, they just said, They like, shut uh, their mouth because they realized they were being dicks, and for once, they played the smart thing. I bet they're in a corporate office and thinking, hey guys, what? Remember how your total dicks last time I kind of worked? Let's not do it again. Like, but why? Because we sell games. Well, the that- games are selling well. We go shh and we have as much money and or more. This is smart. They have to play humble. Well, ass- we don't ass- have to do ass- shit. Essentially, PlayStation did this was pretty much drop the mic. Yep. But you gotta remember what happens when you drop a mic from a high distance. You kind of fuck that shit up. Yeah. And the more you keep dropping the mic, the more you're gonna fuck it up. And Xbox is gonna sneak right behind your ass and fucking start playing a concert. And fucking be loud as fuck, and you can't be loud to yell back because you broke your damn mic. Where do you hear that from? I made that shit up. That was really good. I like that. That was a good one, dude. Right? Wow. I like that one. Yeah. Essentially. So that, that I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. Hopefully Xbox, like, I, I want competition. Hopefully Xbox gets there. I just hope that they don't try to take over the whole freaking world and try to be Xbox fucking... Uh, what, what's the term? I can't do it. See, PC Master Race. I can say PC Master Race. Easy. Because it's so ingrained in my fucking... More vocabulary. like what you're Xbox trying to say. Xbox Master Race. It doesn't no, no, no. It's called 
Xbox One, as in the all coming to one. Oh, it's like the fucking Iron Throne of fucking video games. Now, I'll tell you why that's bad. It's fucking game of games. I like game of <laughs> Iron Throne. You know, fucking like if Xbox were to own EA and freaking Valve and shit, they'd be like having their game Iron th- uh, Throne. They would own uh, fucking North America. They, they, yeah, yeah. They would own North America. They, uh, the, the oh, way they dude, won last... Oh, go into like World War freaking game. See, they they want they got a lot of support from last generation because he owned North America. They're not gonna um, Japan and Europe. I mean, not, especially Japan was not supporting Xbox. Europe was here and there because they're Sony guys. But if they got Valve, I mean, let's face it, Valve's not doing shit right now. But they'll get the PC side, so that will be secured right there, and it'll get all the big games coming out like Battlefield and yeah. You know, I, from I, EA honestly, I personally hope they stay separate because again, I mean, competitions like, breeds excellence. Exactly. Not only that, but I mean, like I, I like my my Steam day. If Xbox were to buy it, yeah. they like you know, and if this God forbid, like, I guess God forbid this happens, if they do buy it. I better still keep all my fucking Steam games. Because it's, I'm gonna slap a person if Xbox is like, well, this doesn't go with our whole freaking moral way of doing stuff. So no, you can't keep your freaking double XX, twenty XX freaking. No, you can uh, actually. Freaking, well, Microsoft yeah, I mean, and uh, yeah, but, and Alexa extent Sony actually both still have a locked in account where you can keep all your stuff in, in, into a well, retro, I hope so. Really good. I mean, you know. Now, if the only company that doesn't do that and makes you buy every goddamn generation, the only company that does that, like a like a nice little middle finger. Is God damn it, dude. Uh, is the googly eye freaking? Mm, Do you say it this time? The <laughs> autistic puppet known as Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Sesame Street, uh, represented by Nintendo. No. Oh, no, man, man that, that's just a, no, no, nothing against autistic people. I, I've actually had an autistic friend. He's he's a great guy. What's good? But, you know, but, but like you know, but you know, you can't still act like an autistic puppet. Let's face it, Nintendo. Your fans are... Uh, I don't get this. You see, you do something good, but you half-ass something else. Why can't you go full-blown AIDS with this one? Come on. Come on, man. No, don't give, a, don't give us the HIV. Give us some AIDS. Give us some AIDS. That's, that's, we're talking about the cookie, man. In the 80s. Cookie in the 80s? The cookie in the 80s called AIDS. We want those AIDS. Well, I want herpes. Tasty, tasty AIDS. <laughs> no, I want some HIV. I want some AIDS. Why, why, why do you want diseases from Nintendo? Well, because you are diseased. No, just uh, okay, no, no that's, but uh, that's terrible. you gotta stop. Again, I know this is a fucking Microsoft one today, but Nintendo, for fuck's sake, make a solid. Se- you know, better yet, they should partner with fucking Microsoft. Oh, Microsoft, but, buy Nintendo. But, but <laughs> they don't own them. They just make software for them. Oh. They make fucking actual. Good They'll be the Sega hard- of hardware. Xbox. They'll make hardware. There we go. They'll they be make the Sega of Xbox. Yeah. Didn't they fuck them over with the Dreamcast? Oh, yeah, Microsoft made the Dreamcast. They did. Uh huh. They did. Fucking some of the best fucking gaming fucking available at the time, and still to this day. Well, let's face oh, it. Oh, Skies of Arcadia. It was not. That's a great game. I'll say this again. It was not fucking. Jet Set their, Radio. Um, it was not their lack of hardware. I mean, let's face it. It was the bare minimum all four consoles. Shenmue, you know, dude. Shenmue. Fucking. I know, but it's still their business practice that sunk them. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, it would have been the weaker system. It could have lasted longer, though. You know? No, it wasn't about the weaker system. The freaking Dreamcast just didn't have a DVD player. Yeah. Well, Teach no, the, not no, to have a DVD Nintendo, player uh, Nintendo fucking Cube didn't have it either. But yeah, but this was after the fact. Yeah. This was this was hey we're competing directly you know with these guys. The PS2. No oh, wait no no the Xbox had a fucking uh, DVD yeah, player yeah, as well. DVD player, I, I just think it was, and it was hard to fucking. Nintendo that, Nintendo bro they can fuck up three times over and they have enough money to fucking keep going. No they have the fans that keep them going. No no they do I mean like you see the the Wii was a freaking sensational flop. If the Switch was a freaking the Wii U, the Wii U was a sensational flop. Yeah. If they the Switch was a flop they'd still have the money to keep going bro. It's pissing me off. That's because there's so many goddamn systems. You know, yeah, that's the reason why they sold the systems, which pisses me off because the Wii was the most silliest fucking thing. But those commercials with those guys just pretending to do some stuff, like um, Wii boxing, you're like, <laughs> but in reality, it's just like, no, beat the fucking controller, wag wag wag. Stop! Oh, God damn it! We go back. Dude, fucking Mac- I mean, back, back to Microsoft. Xbox. Microsoft. Microsoft. Just back to Microsoft. Microsoft. Microsoft, Microsoft off GG Allen. Come on. But back to them buying up video game companies. Like I said, buy EA, make them great. Sure, do it. 
freaking valve good luck with that you're not gonna have it you're not gonna you're not steam. gonna I see partnering because he partnered before, but I don't see them owning fucking Steam. Yeah, that, I just don't. If they do, hey, if it does, then goddamn. If you they know, do, they... will be a, we'll be on a dawn of a new video game freaking era. If they do, but then again, it, or but then again, I can also see that if EA partners with freaking Microsoft, guess what? Ubisoft will probably be like, well, fuck this, we're going with Sony or something. You know, they'll, oh, don't freaking, know, they'll, they'll accelerate the war. They'll accelerate the war. It will be fucking suicide. Gaming politics. Because there's a lot of gaming. Um, a lot of Ubisoft games go to Microsoft a lot too, and he actually go to fucking uh, Nintendo. Yeah, Ubisoft duh. rabbits freaking. No, because uh, Ubis Mario. Ubisoft actually does uh, Man, a lot I of Nintendo Ubisoft. games, so they're gonna stick with a uh, third party. I see EA because um, they they don't produce games all the time. They're big, but how many times did they come out? Right, Activision. Yeah. Maybe Activision will stay with PlayStation. They already have the let's fucking Destiny thing going yeah. on there. They, they still have the uh, Destiny going Ain't on. Ain't that some weird shit on Halo? Is all straight Xbox and Bungie's like, ah, eh, we're jumping ship to freaking practically to Sony. They they're on yeah. both consoles, but fucking Sony gets all the good shit from Destiny. True, but they got Destiny too. Well, that's what I'm saying. They get all the exclusive shit first. Yeah, I know, but well, it's Destiny too. Uh, yeah, it's Destiny yeah. too. <laughs> Destiny 2. I mean, it, it's, you know, people yeah. are, it's Destiny it's 2. It's like, oh, God, you got an exclusive turd right here. Get your exclusive turd. Yeah! You want your exclusive turd? It's right here. It's a turd. It's exclusive. Do you shine Get it your up? exclusive turd. Do you shine it it's up? It's very shiny. It's exclusive, though. You know, it's just exclusive to get a turd. It's, it's a turd that's exclusive. How exclusive is turd? It's, it's just so exclusive. It, it It's exclusive. Hi, I'm Ads in my eyes. Exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm selling these games at I don't whatever price. There's ants in my eyes. You don't know he's a fucking podcast. This is based off a cartoon. If you didn't know this cartoon, ooh, -wee, I don't have to fucking explain it, Rick and Morty. <laughs> we, uh, anyway, like I said, in the end, Xbox. We'll see what the future holds. Again, this kind of connects with the other episode about what their future fucking says, but hey. I mean, they, they said wait till E3. Dude. Wait till E3. Hey, maybe they already got them. Oh my God. Maybe see, they already got them. I'm hoping they make a partner with Valve, and if they partner with Valve, dude, I'm hoping for one thing. And shut the fuck up. It's not Half-Life 3. Even I'm saying that. <laughs> Left 4 Dead 3. It might, dude. If, it's a, if, if they come out with Dota 3, I swear to God, I'll just strangle myself. Yeah, yeah. For, yeah. Oh, for Dota. Okay. Dota 3! I mean, I mean, yeah. I mean, I audience like Dota, okay, whatever, but... Yeah, I played my D-Blow 3, homie. D-Blow. was good, homie. To level 3, homie. Anyway, good that's three. about it. That's what I, I think, <laughs> you know. Um, uh, yeah, that's all I got. That's all we got for this episode today. So, I mean, like, once again, um, if you guys like what you guys hear, like, subscribe on YouTube, hit that notification bell, get all your shit together right there. Um, follow me on Twitter at DJ Guttercat. You guys might find me there. If not, I, I don't know. Whatever. Um, we, you know, we're still coming up with ideas for new shows, but we haven't executed that yet. Be patient with it. We freaking rock on with that when it comes. Um, that's about it. You guys have a good one. We actually didn't start end with freaking yelling at each other for some stupid reason, right? All right then. We're gonna just um, shut off this uh, now. Power off. All right, great. Anyway, um, uh. You know how I, was, I said to, uh, what's her name that I was tossing? I used to toss Cheetos at uh, my dog when it has that cone. It was actually a homeless person named Chips. Uh -huh. You know? He was like, open the mouth. And I was shooting in and he would go in. He's like, ah. And of course, then he would give me my drugs. Well, why are you buying drugs off a homeless man? Well, he's he's homeless, but he chooses to be homeless. Kind of like Breath uh, Into the Wild. But, you know... He, I don't actually ask him for stuff. It's kind of like a, a, a random goodie bag. It has a big, it's a big brown bag, has a question mark, and whatever I open, it's a random drug. So I pay him two bucks, yes, it's two bucks, and he gave me this random goodie thing. I cannot stop fucking scratching! I think he gave me crack deal last time. Before that was fucking some form of- Oh, uh, dude, 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 hold on, hold on. Yeah. The microphone's on again. Well, you, I have, I have some problems.